Senator Deacon, Nova Scotia. Thank you, Speaker. Senator, my question is for the government representative. Senator Gold, an upcoming London Convention re resolution would limit marine carbon dioxide removal to small-scale research studies. This is deeply concerning, as Canada is a global leader in marine carbon dioxide research, particularly in ocean alkalinity enhancement. Dr. Anya Waite at Dalhousie's o Ocean Frontier Institute and her team are globally recognized for their research and Canada has recently hosted an All-Atlantic Ocean Research and Innovation Alliance Forum with particip participation from the US, UK, EU and Norway. There's decades of ev ev evidence demonstrating that marine carbon dioxide remo removal is ecology enhancing. Senator Gold, what specific risks is this resolution trying to manage and how can we justify stopping research and environmental and economic opportunities where Canada is already leading. Senator Gold. Senator, thank you for your question and thank you for your advocacy on this issue and indeed for educating us about this issue as, you, uh, as, you, as you're doing. I regret though that I don't have a specific answer to you. I don't have an answer to your specific question, but I certainly will raise it to the minister and, I, and I'll get back to your office when I get a response. Senator Deacon, Nova Scotia. Thank you, Your Honour. Uh, thank you, Senator Gold. There is urgency to this. The meeting is next week. Uh, <coughs> ocean alkalinity enhancement reverses damage to the stun of the oceans at, while it removes CO2 from the atmosphere. I can't see any reason, and perhaps you could ask the, the Minister, is there any reason why the government wanna, would want to halt the, this promising technology and research that's being studied by global researchers and seeing great success in our own country in combating climate change? Senator Gold. We'll add this uh, to my request and question to the minister.